Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Breakfast with BU. Today, we're going to take a look and take a few minutes and share some important information with you about training your team on COVID-19. The Bowling University team here recently launched our newest online course, COVID-19, Social Distancing and Personal Hygiene. This 15-minute course will walk your team through some basics about COVID-19, plus address the following, how to protect yourself against COVID-19, proper hand washing, personal hygiene tips and things to know, as well as social distancing. So let's take a brief look at a short video from the course on proper hand washing. Washing your hands is the most effective way to reduce the spread of infectious disease, including COVID-19. One should presume your hands are contaminated with viruses and bacteria after touching common surfaces. So when should you wash your hands? While there's no comprehensive list of every situation in which you should wash your hands after, it's best to err on the side of caution. When in doubt, wash your hands and help keep yourself and everyone safe. Of course, washing your hands may sound easy, but let's make sure we are all doing it based on the CDC's recommendation to reduce the spread of germs. First, wet your hands with clean running water, warm water if available, and apply soap. Next, scrub your hands by rubbing them together with the soap. Be sure to scrub the backs of your hands between your fingers and under your nails. Continue scrubbing your hands for at least 20 seconds. Of course, you can sing or hum the birthday song a couple of times to help as a timer. Then, rinse your hands well under clean running water. Finally, completely dry your hands using a disposable paper towel or air dryer. If for some reason soap and water are not available, then according to the CDC, you should use a hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol to help avoid getting sick and spreading germs to others. You can always reference the CDC website for the latest information. This course, along with the current COVID-19 online course, are great ways to make sure that your team members and guests are safe. In fact, one of the best practices that's already come out of the course is at the completion, you have opportunity to print this certificate and uh, share it. In fact, some centers have taken those certificates and displayed them so guests could see that their team and their, uh, everyone is safe, sanitized, and ready to roll. I even have mine. I've completed mine to prove that I'm uh, fully in line with the course. If you have any questions about assessing the classes for your center, you can reach us at education at bpa.com anytime. Remember, stay positive. Your center can and will be a facility that is safe, sanitized, and a great place for friends and family to reconnect. Make sure you follow us on the Bowling University Facebook page for more updates, and make it a great day.